protein shake. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be testing out something that I've wanted to try for so long and I hemmed and I hawed and I was like, maybe, I don't know. Like, is it worth it? I don't know, it's kind of clunky. No, they've improved it. It's for the woman on the go. This is the temp to air airbrush beauty innovation. Innovation. This is supposed to be incredible, okay? A lot of you guys for so long have been like, Tati, please test this out. And I'm like, I don't wanna spend hundreds of dollars on that. Thanks, but no thanks. But finally, finally, I just got in the mood. I really love the idea of airbrush makeup. I've used it in the past. The machines in the past have been very clunky. This is a portable device. Technology has advanced. So here we are, let me get the out of the way. Scissors, we need scissors. We have a razor. Okay, here we are. Da, 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 da. Ooh, she's beautiful. The beauty game changer, that is a claim. That's what they state this is. It is the beauty game changer. I could use a beauty game changer. If this is a long wear airbrush foundation, not too clunky, easy to clean, the technology is there. It looks really incredible. If it wears a long time, which I am gonna do a wear test for you guys. So we're gonna go from AM to PM, do the whole thing. This could be a more affordable option than $60 Dior Air Flash, which I really, really love. This is expensive. You have to invest in the actual machine, right? It looks really cool. Wait, do we have to charge this overnight or something? Oh no. <laughs> okay, wait, power up. Prepping your AirPod. Okay, at least it's not overnight. I'm gonna charge this for an hour and I'll be right back. We are back, we are charged, we are ready for foundation. I'm actually so excited to get my makeup on. I was impatiently waiting for a little over an hour. Seems to be charged up just fine. So now we are in the second phase of figuring it out with Tati, which is how do we do the pod to the cut? I got like a sample set. Here's the clear empty pod that you get with purchase. Um, you would think that um, children don't try this at home. Should have gotten scissors while I was taking an hour long break from filming. I am strong. <gasps> I did it. Okay, so now it says caution, precaution, pointed pin. Now we go like, ooh. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Um, elbow connects to the, okay. Does this do anything? What? Huh? Okay. Do not submerge in alcohol. Okay. Do not submerge in alcohol. I am really trying to figure this out. I don't understand. Well, I guess that's where it comes out of. Okay. So I think what we do is try to not ruin our manicure while opening this up. You guys, if you saw my 10 under 10, which I will link below, I raved about a new Revlon polish. I'm wearing another shade. What do we think? I will put it in the description box below the video, but also this other shade that is mwah, mwah. Ah, highlighter. Oh, that's also highlighter. Foundation, blush, got a lot of foundation. Okay, so the cool thing in my mind when I was purchasing this Try Me pack is that you could really easily custom adjust to get your perfect color. I did purchase the Temp2 Perfect Canvas. Wow, can I talk right now? Clearly I cannot. Are you talking to yourself again? I'm filming! <laughs> Do you need anything? Nope. Okay. I did purchase the Temp2 Perfect Canvas Hydro Lock Airbrush Foundation. This one is a semi-matte long wear with natural finish. We also have the shade Birch. <sighs> She's professional. She has it together. One woman show. <clears throat> Needs a new chair. Sound, lighting, filming. Just me and you guys, that's it. Backwards clap. Okay, let's see here. Let's really actually put some makeup on. Hey, that's what you're supposed to be doing. You know when you open a refrigerator and you keep thinking like something's gonna magically appear? I keep thinking I'm gonna see my scissors. Where are they? Ah! <laughs> they were on the floor. <laughs> Danger. This is the cleaner. I think you're supposed to put a couple drops in here first to like Whoops, that might've been too much. Clean it. Oh, wow, okay, hello. <laughs> I 
like it. Oh, that looks refreshing, right? I mean, can we just get like a makeup setting spray to come in one of these and just like go to town? I would love that. I'm gonna give this a good shake and load her up with a few drops. I'm gonna really quickly use a bit of the Wet n Wild primer. I know I'm like going in with a fancy machine, but for slapping on a little Wet n Wild Impossible primer. This one, it's so good. Silicone free primer. I talked about this in the best under 10 as well. So now we have something that's kind of making the skin a little bit sticky in a good way. A little bit of a grip there. You can see I just put a few drops in. We're gonna go to a medium setting as recommended, light to heavy. So you can control how much is coming out. Three, two, one. Oh wait, no, ah, no, stop, stop it. What just happened? Okay, time out. Why is this just go, what? No, bad machine. Oh my gosh, how do you turn this on without it like literally pouring all out? Amazing. I don't really understand why it automatically turns on like that. That kind of concerns me. Um, it feels really good, but this is not the right shade for me. Um, that looks terrible. We're gonna try again and just um, stay far away from the face and kind of just turn it on and, and like, we're really gonna go for it. Seems, okay, this is like on the highest but it seems to be distributing better if it's far away from you. Well, not far, far away. Let's kind of get a little close up here. Whoa, okay. Wow, it comes out kind of uneven depending on like this is not going the way I thought it would. I'm gonna kind of blend out the area where it came out too intense. Like the nice thing about airbrush is the skin looks like it really has nothing on it, but there's definitely a little bit of coverage. Do I feel right now that it is worth all of this hassle and the amount of product that you need? Mm, I'm not convinced, but you know, when I first got that Dyson Airwrap, do we remember? I was like, I hate this so much. And then I ended up loving it and I still use it all the time. So I don't want to say like, oh, I hate this. Like it could just be because it's technology mixed with makeup that I'm just kind of like, I don't know how I feel. You know, like I just don't know how I feel right now. Maybe once I learn how to use it and I'm like, oh, it's powered. Oh, this is how much product you need. Oh, this is the color I like. This is how you clean it. This is the length you need to stay away from the face. So let's just hang with it and see if we can get the full face done. Like my least favorite thing so far is that you turn it on and it's like, it's going. I wish that there was a button that you turn it on and then you had another button. So like, okay, I have it on. I feel I've got it in the right spot, but it's like the second you turn that button on, it's going and there's no control to stop it. I don't love that. The nice thing is you can get this on the neck and the decollete really easily. So it'd be great for body bronzing products. Love that. Okay, when you're turning it on and off, instead of just tapping it, you wanna make sure you press it down all the way. Otherwise you're just gonna be spraying stuff everywhere. So what I wanna do now is try out a little bit of the blush. We're gonna go in with soft peach. I'm going to take a little bit of the cleaner, kind of run it out of there, and then just kind of wipe this down. 
I'm sure there's a better way, but like, let's get the show on the road. I'm going to put the blush in just a little tiny bit. I'm nervous again, but let's just go for it. Turn it on low. That's pretty. Woo! Okay, that's some blush. Now we have a highlighter that is called Copper. It's the perfect canvas highlighter. I've given it a good shake. I'm gonna fill her up and this is gonna go more on the decollete first. And then we'll see if I'm gonna take this on the face as well. Cause it has kind of a bronzy type of a look to it. Weird. The highlighter comes out so strange. It's like it's not coming out, but then I put a white cloth in front of it and it's definitely coming out. What the heck? I don't know how I feel about the highlighter. I don't know how I feel in general about this just yet. What do you guys think so far? Mid video comments, leave them. What do we think? I'm gonna finish up my makeup. We will regroup. All right, I finally made it through the full makeup routine, eyes, lips, everything. My camera overheated right as I was having a little bit too much fun putting on eyeliner. But right now that's like my favorite thing to do. I kind of just go whoop, like really heavy, kind of clean it up on the edge and then blend some of the brown right into my deep set area right here. I wanna do a beauty tips and tricks technique type of a video soon. So thumbs this one up if you wanna see that. And I have to say, I personally am loving the foundation, loving the foundation. It is very matte. They do have a more sheer glowy formula that I would be curious to try because once everything's set and once I put other uh, powder products on top of the face, I only used a little bit of concealer and then I put powder right in my T-zone area went in with some bronzer, did a tiny bit of highlight, but I really didn't go too crazy on the face. It was really just done, evened out. The neck to the face is looking really nice and consistent. I really like this. I would use it for foundation. I don't know that I like the whole change up the pod to the blush, to the bronzer, to the highlight. I think if you're a pro makeup artist, you might enjoy that on other people, but you tend to kind of close your eye and you don't really know the placement very accurately when you're like getting it kind of in your eye. But for foundation, I do have to say I'm loving it. My husband, on the other hand, I was like, what do you think of my makeup? His first response was, I like the way you do it better, which I don't really know what that means, but um, that is a man's response to this makeup. He then said, you know, I like it when you do the juicy makeup. So um, in man language, not knowing much about makeup, which actually James knows a fair amount just from being around me, you know what I'm saying? But he thought it was too matte. He's like, I like it when your skin is a little more Juicy, you guys know, juicy skin, juice up the skin, hydration. So this is definitely not my normal finish, but I have to say I'm really liking it right now. It feels nice and tight. It doesn't feel dried out. It doesn't look too crinkly matte. It just looks smoothed out and the pores look nice and small and powder went on top of it beautifully. We're gonna have to wait and see how this wears if it truly is a very long wear foundation. Cause if it is, then I can see myself reaching for this guy. So that's where we're at right now. And I wanna go about my day and I will see you guys in a little bit. What's up you guys? So I just wanted to do a casual, I'm at home. It's several hours later, check in. Man, I always film. And then the second I'm done, I'm like cozy clothes if I'm just staying at home. So we're cozied up, hoodie and camo pants. 
it is seven o'clock now and we're getting ready to make dinner. We're having spaghetti, I'm excited. But the foundation, let's talk about it. It is still there. It's a little more matte than I would like. I went too heavy handed on the forehead and I keep trying to like rub it in somehow and it's just making it even blotchier. So it's not that I don't like this. I actually like it quite a bit but I would go lighter next time. I think I just kind of, as a first time trier, I had to figure out the pressure and like how to turn it on and the color and all of that. I will say this, I am so shocked that the blush is still there, right? As I was saying like, oh, I don't think I would use this for blush again because like it's so hard, unless you're a makeup artist, it's hard to see where you're placing it. But every time I look in the mirror, that's the first thing I see, I'm like, oh, like, oh, the blush is still there and we are hours in. I mean, like I have not powdered, I have not done anything and it's hot and it hasn't really broken apart. So, so far so good. Ooh, I just had spaghetti and it was delicious, but heavy. Cheers. It is now 10.30 at night. We had a way, way late dinner. I want dessert. So let's get to the goods. Really? If I'm not complaining about the heat, I'm complaining about this chair because it is out of control. It's not me. It's not, I'm a lady. Okay, here we go. We went on a first date and we are in a, I don't know, like maybe we'll, maybe we'll go out again. Maybe it'll be better next time. I'm still figuring you out. So I don't wanna say that this device is like, I hated it and it was terrible but it did not wow me the way that I was hoping that it would. I was like, this could be the best thing ever. What I'm thinking is foundation. I'm thinking body makeup. I'm thinking, ooh, the website has self tanner. Maybe we're gonna do some of that. Maybe we get into highlight, a little blush bronzer. We just use this whole dude for like everything. And then the makeup is so pro and it stays put all day long. That was the fantasy that I was hoping for not what ended up happening. Doesn't mean we couldn't get there. We could get there. I'm still gonna play around with this. They have a primer I wanna try out. I have the machine already. Why not keep figuring it out? I think I need to learn how to clean this guy a little bit better. And then I do believe they sell individual. Um, do I try this? Yeah, let's try it. Let's, let's go there. They have the individual pods, which is what I'm more interested in purchasing versus the fill the plastic on the top pod because this makes sense to me. It's already like locked and loaded in here. And peel. This is gonna get our hairline, which I need help with because I will say this. James, when he pointed out that he was like, I don't know about this makeup, like it's like kind of not juicy. He's like, and you got it all in your hairline. And so I was taking water cleanser and like trying to get it out of my hair. And then I kind of gave up and I'm like, pull the hair back, whatever. But there's still like a little bit in there. So I probably should have done this earlier. But honestly, I was so worried about getting brown everywhere because I have not learned how to control this puppy just yet. So it's the end of the day. Let's try it out. You guys can see my face. What do you think of the foundation? Again, it's like a love hate. It's a little too dry for me. I might try a different formula. It did blotch off toward the end of the day, specifically on my forehead, but I think that might be a me problem because I may have applied too much. Initially for the first like four hours, I loved it. I was like mattified, pores were vanished, things were looking even. There's no demarcation because you can get on the neck really nicely. The blush stayed so nice and true. So there's like a lot of great things here to enjoy. It's just kind of the learning curve. I don't know. What do you guys think? Worth it? Not worth it? P.S. This device is $200. Let's turn this on. Weird. So this one, it doesn't like start spilling out right away. So let's see. <gasps> Shut the front door. Oh my gosh, I heard once from a self-tan spray woman that celebrities would request that their part right here, that they would spray them with self-tanner so that when they did a braid, it would like be tanned. But check it, I can just do it with like this. And then your hairline looks like so way fuller. <gasps> this is amazing. Ooh. Okay, this, I'm like, I am all about this. Sign me right up. 
I'm kind of obsessed with that. It is a specific little device guy here that says root, touch up, and hair color. Oh. That was incredible and super fast. Let's see. Does it really? Oh, well, it doesn't really smudge too much. <gasps> okay, so that was a redeeming moment. I like it. Okay, tell me in the comments below, do you guys think this is worth the hype, the additional moments of putting together an actual device to use to put your makeup on and the initial investment? Do you think it's worth it? The pods cost between 20 and $40, I believe, depending on what you are purchasing. So I think it's just that initial investment that will get you. I'm really into the hair thing now and I will continue trying the foundation. I'll let you guys know as I try it, if I like it. And there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share the video, leave me comments, make sure you are subscribed, ring the bell before you go, and make sure your notifications are turned on. I don't know where I'm pointing to, but um, it's late. I gotta go get some rest, take the makeup off, and I love you all so much. I hope you're having a good one, whatever you are doing, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.